I'm overjoyed to share that we have been joined by our chief guest of the day, Srimati Meenakshi Lekhi Ji. She's the Union Minister of State, External Affairs and Cultural Government of India. I request Rajesh Kumar Mishra Ji, Rajasthan Bharti Vidya Bhavan Delhi Kerala, former IAS officer, please give the planter to honourable chief guest. I request Professor Shashi Badaji to present books to Honorable Chief Guest. Thank you, ma'am. Now I request Dhani Ji. Thank you, ma'am. Now I request Honorable Chief Guest Minakshi Lekhi Ji to please bestow our presence to our panelist of the day. our token of gratitude to our partner organizations. For the same, I would request Shashivala ma'am to please come forward. Uh, we'll go further with the Jagran New Media. Any representatives? Please come forward and accept our token of appreciation. <laughs> Next up, uh, we have Global Youth Peace Committee. The representatives of Global Youth uh, Peace Committee to please come forward and accept our token of gratitude. Now I request representative of Rotary Club of Mirai. Madam Sashi Balaji, Dr. Sashi Balaji, C20 under G20 official flag will be presented to the partner organization Bharti Vidya Bhavan and Karma Foundation. Honorable Minakshi Lekhi ji and Dr. Sashi Balaji and Indi Goyal ji. 
Member of Screening Committee C20. Professor Shashi Balaji for opening remarks and welcome address of the event. Before sharing her words, I would like to give brief introduction about her. Dr. Shashi Bala is renowned Indologist and the Dean Bhavan's K.M. Munshi Center for Indology. On Chair Acharya Raghuvira, President of International Council of Culture Studies, she is the recipient of the Order of Polar Star the Highest Civilian State Award of Mongolia Member Mission High Resolution. <laughs> Indian Knowledge System, Ministry of Education, President, International Council of Culture Studies, Bharat, Executive Member, International Academy of Indian Culture, Member of Anushadhan Prakoshta, Bharati Shikshan Mandal, Founding Member, International Buddhist Confederation. Formerly, she worked as a visiting professor at National Museum Institute, a guest professor at Bristol and Europe Federal Universities, and consultant at the IGNCA. She specializes in India's cultural contribution to the world. Sanskrit is global perspective, history of arts, Buddhism, and cross-culture connection across political boundary. She has published 25 books and 110 research papers. Problems are solved, and who can who can contribute to solving these problems is is a big question. What is happening in the world today is conflicts, war, crisis, egocentrism, over commercialism, capitalism, 
colonialism, colonization, manipulation, destruction of local systems, slavery, demeaning the present, all these things. There is a long list of such things and why and what India can give to the world is the biggest question. India is the only country that has the capacity of solving the problems if there is a big if, if these powers, the other powers outside India, how much do they absorb, how much do they internalize the concept, the life philosophy that is bequeathed by the rishis, by the munis, the, by the great acharyas, by the gurus over past thousands of years. So, what is the what is the motto is this, Vasudeva Kuptumbakam, that the entire world is one family. If we think like this, to be a part of a family, I think half of the problems will just dissolve. I'm making a short film which will be launched soon on Vasudeva Kuptumbakam, that how for thousands of years, our rishis nurtured and nourished these ideas and whatever they gave to the world without demanding anything. There is a huge history, how they went abroad, how they sacrificed their life. So I'm not going into the details of those. But on the other side, what is happening? What is, is Mazdaev Kutumbakam is just a motto to be written on the walls or should be internalized? What is happening to the family system? outside India or even inside India. There are so many question marks that we have to work on it to have a family, not just Parivar, but a Kutumb. Kutumb means a huge expanded family. So only then we can have this idea that when we, when we sacrifice for others. You see, we love each other as a family member, but you see, love doesn't mean just love, but it needs a lot of you have to, we have to sacrifice about ourselves. So what is what we can teach to the world? There are, there is a lot that we can teach. So what, on the other side, what is happening? We are all, we want to look modern. We want to show that we are modern. But what modernity has given to us over commercialization. It has fueled the material desires, resulting in paying a big cost. So what is happening to the water, to the air, how all these crises, uh, what about the ecosystem, there is a lot that has been discussed under G20. Under G20 there are many verticals, one of them is C20, C20 means civil society because there is one is Y20, W20, Think20, Labor20, there are many. So one of them is C20. C20 is meant to take, to carry the voice of the civil society to the governments of the G2 society, G, G, G20 nations. How much will it reach? After we are preparing very strong recommendations on health, on education, on ecosystem, on the preservation of natural resources and all these things. Under C20, there are 14 working groups. One of them is diversity, inclusion, and mutual respect for which we have gathered here to contribute to the world how we have diversity, how we should have diversity. Diversity is a, is a rule of nature. It's a law of nature. But over the years, if you look at the history, how diversity is killed how diversity is, diversity is demeaned and because of not accepting the concept of diversity thousands, not only thousands but lakhs of people were slaughtered they were taken into the concentration camps uh, people, have, people know about Jews who were taken to concentration camps but people do not know about Indians huge number of Indians on the orders of Hitler that were taken to concentration camps because they looked different, because they had black hair, they spoke some different language, all these things. Can you kill people like this because you don't believe in diversity? So history is full of such things, how people were taken as indentured laborers, how in, what happened to India first? 
because as an Indian, it pains me that India that gave all this philosophy of life. Our people were tortured like this. I went to the concentration camp. I could not touch the soil of that place where thousands of people were buried. They were killed ruthlessly. So I'm not going into the details, but why? But why is a big question. We need, if there is diversity, we need inclusion. What I was looking at when, when this was announced, then I looked at other countries, what is their, how do they accept diversity and inclusion. I'm sorry to say that they accept these only for making more money, to have good business, to have political uh, mileage, to have to be politically or geopolitically to be more powerful, but it is only India that has added mutual respect. Unless we have mutual respect, we cannot accept inclusion or diversity. So these are interlinked. There is a bridge between these two. And in uh, in uh, in Hindi, I have uh, I have uh, uh, translated it as. Vaidhyam, Sannivashanam and Samarchanam. So, this I could find very good terms in Sanskrit. And our, our group, C20, she's uh, Nidhi Goyalji is here. She is one of the members of the steering committee. And the presidency is given to Mata Amrita Nandamai. There is a, again an objective behind because the power of India lies in its knowledge in its spirituality, the spiritual power that can that can shape, that can reshape the whole world. So the the logo of that the 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 uh, that is that is you are the light for C20 that is given by Mata Amrita Nandimai. You are the light. Only then when we think that you are the light, we respect all. And here we are standing, sitting we have joined hands here in Bharti Vidya Bhavan. The motto of Bharti Vidya Bhavan is Ano Bhadra Kratavo Yantu Vishwataha. That means like noble thoughts come from all the directions. So this is what taking this motto forward, we have designed a special flag for flagging of the rally. I request you all to please see the flag, what is written there, what are the messages. And then we have put up a wall of noble thoughts uh, after, after finishing our, after completing the rally, after running around, you will see, you please sign the wall of noble thoughts. That you accept these thoughts and if you have any other thoughts, any of you, if you have any thoughts, please do write your thoughts on the wall. So this is how we have planned this day. With great, uh, with, a, with a heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable Minister, to Nidhi Ji, to Bharti Vidya Bhavan, to uh, this our young, uh, uh, what should I call her, Dhwani. She is so energetic, she has worked so hard for this, bringing it to the, I can't say how much she has worked, and I'm thankful to the industry leaders. Of course, we need your ideas, we need your support to give a new life. To, give, to show a new path to the youth. To, because there, so much is happening. There is so much wealth, so much money in the hands of the people, but so much frustration is there. So much suicides. Anything. Everything is higher than before, and everything that is bad is also higher than before. So sorry to say so, but we want to show a new path, not only to India, but to the world. So, you have joined hands in this. I'm thankful to all of you who have joined here for this special moment. Thank you again. Thanks.